What's going on, Sumolings? Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and today I am joined by the team over at Peerboard. Peerboard is software that allows you to build a branded, feature-rich community forum right on your website. It is available on AppSumo right now, starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. Before we dive into the product, though, I just want to tell you all a few quick things. The first is that if you want to uh, ask any questions, you can go ahead and leave those questions in the Q&A box down below this video. The second thing is that if you uh, want to tell us a little bit about your use case, I say this at the beginning of every webinar and nobody ever leaves their use case, but we genuinely want to see your use cases today. So please tell us in the chat room why you are interested in Peerboard, why you're here today, what it is you want to know, what you uh, want to use this for, um, what your business is all about. Anything you want to tell us, that's actually genuinely useful. We want to hear it. Uh, you can go ahead and do that in the chat room. Um, and you can always tell us where you're watching from because I like that part too. Um, and then the last thing, of course, is that there is a replay of this available. So you could always watch this later if you feel like it. Uh, if you need to step out, you can. And if you're watching this in the replay, hello to the future. All right. That is enough of me. Hey, Mikhail, how are you doing? Hello and good morning. How are you doing? I am doing well. Good morning to you. I've got somebody in my time zone. It is a beautiful 8 a.m. in Los Angeles. Um, I'm excited to dive into this today. I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to you. I know you're going to kick it off by telling us a little bit about yourself um, and let me know when you are ready for some questions. Sure. Thanks. Thanks for helping to run it. Um, hello, everybody. I am super happy to be on this webinar with you today. And I will probably start with uh, sharing a bit more about my background, um, which is kind of relevant to the, to the, to the topic. Um, so I spent almost four years at Facebook helping to build Messenger platform prior, prior, prior to uh, building Peerboard. And uh, it's funny because the first question I see here is the first comment on the use case that I see in the comments is flee from Facebook and build my own community where I own everything. This is pretty much the gist of why we're building what we're building. And that was the motivation for me to start working on, on Peerboard, seeing how many businesses and brands use Facebook and don't have much control over what they do. And they have to resort either to legacy forums or to some of the niche products they have to use now. Um, so um, that's pretty much where we built Peerboard. And the vision for Peerboard was to uh, make it fully embeddable from the beginning and to make sure that it can work from any uh, uh, from any configuration, from, from any environment you can imagine. Uh, we focused a lot on making sure it can work with WordPress, and this is an ongoing work stream for us, making sure it can work better and better from work, WordPress. We do focus a lot on making sure it can work on your custom domains and on different URLs you have. And uh, we actually have a custom SDK and an API, so you can plug it into any setup you can imagine. Uh, your own website, a custom built website. Plus to that, we're also building now a widget for the simple site builders that has the preview of all the posts from the community. So we're trying to cover all of the cases that uh, where peer board can be useful. Um, so speaking of the use case, I wanted to show you some of the, some of the use case we see. Um, let me share my screen now. Those are the, the partners that use Pureboard now um, for different needs. And I will start from our own community. Uh, if, you, if you go to community.pureboard.com, you will see an example of, of our live product. Um, the whole uh, community is powered by Pureboard. This is all Pureboard, and uh, you can play with it. Please don't make random test posts. People tend to do that. Uh, you can create your own test community for that. But pretty much, yeah, like definitely check out the community. Um, and as you see, it lives on a custom domain uh, and on a subdomain for this domain, which you can also set up. Then we have our partners at, uh, who live on our domain, actually, uh, Snowball. It's a French community. And they live on a uh, custom domain, uh, I mean, on, on our domain, which you can also use for free, and that's bundled in the, in the deal. Then uh, a custom domain set up. This is the, the writer's community for the, for the content writers called the journal then uh, uh, and then there is my own blog actually running on wordpress I wanted to show you an example of, of a wordpress setup 
So as you see, it's my domain um, slash community, and it's it's plugged into the the website on WordPress. What's cool is that we keep all the navigation, the headers, the footers, everything. So it's just a natural page, like a native page of, of the WordPress setup. Um, and then uh, I will show you later the WordPress plugin settings and things like that. Uh, another good, yeah, good example is our now uh, the platform for the coaching groups. I, By the way, I recommend checking it out. A very nice product they have where we embedded the, the community on Pureboard, both as their main community and also their clients can have their communities on Pureboard uh, bundled with their product. And that's that's how it looks in a full embed in a custom built website. Again, very nicely uh, plugged in. This is their their UI on the left. Pureboard starts with this with this rectangle on the white background. Um, so as, as you see, lots of use cases where you can plug in Pureboard and we will keep expanding that those we plan to be adding more CMS and more, uh, more different setups that you can where you, you can use Pureboard from. Um, so that's that's basically that's basically it on the use cases. Um, uh, as uh, Lindsay asked, if you can share a bit more about why and how you would want to use Pureboard, that would be helpful for us as we're trying to learn from the community. And uh, and we we definitely hear you. Uh, when you ask for more configurations and for more different use cases you would like to use it from. Um, now, I'd like probably to give you a quick walkthrough of the product right uh, uh, from uh, from our community um, and uh, explain uh, how things work, uh, showing you a fully featured, a fully built community before we dive in into building a new one from the scratch. Um, so, uh, this is how it looks uh, for, for a fully built-in community. What you see here is the, the feed, the feed of, of the post previously posted to the, to the community. And actually that's a live feed of all the feedback uh, without the feedback from, uh, um, from, from the Sumo links as well. And so what you see here is you see pinned posts at the top and you can pin, pin any post you create as an admin or like as the, the data created. So they stick at the top. You, you see the algorithmically sorted feed of the posts with the best and the most recent posts at the top. What's cool is that there is the trending section here. So this section shows all the posts that we created or commented in the last three days. So you see, and there's a lot, and uh, you see that allows you to see the snapshot of what's happening right now in the community. Then there is the recent section with all the all the posts that you can scroll to. Um, uh, and uh, and check yeah what was what was going on in the community before. There is search that allows you to uh, find things like uh, say integrations, and it shows both the 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 posts and the, the comments that have the, this this text in it. So it's pretty neat. Um, and we'll add membership me member search later. And then um, as you see on the right side, you have the admin panel for the members, the CRM that have a small CRM built in, the categories, and the groups, the user groups, I will explain later, and the settings. And then below that, there's a full list of the categories uh, we created for our own community. Uh, what's nice is that they have different settings and they actually limit what can be posted and who can see them. And I'll touch on that later. Um, Actually, let me show you how the categories look from the editor so you can see how we how we set up the structure. So this is the category editor in Pureboard, and it allows you to set to set the nested structure for the, the categories you have, set different restrictions on who can see them, which is nice. Um, and then uh, make it only admin, uh, make it so only admins can post to the categories, and then set some other flags like show this post in the feed, show them in the digest. So that that can that, that that allows you to limit who can see what and what's shown on your main page uh, as well. Um, yeah, we have drag and drop here, so you can freely rearrange the list. It's all real time. It's all very nice. So then, uh, that's how you set the structure for the for the content. Now, how you set the structure for the people? Well, that we have user groups, and uh, this is an example setup that we use for our community. We just started to use them, so not many users we added. Um, that's a very new feature for us. So it allows you to create a group, set the visibility of a badge for this group uh, from the user profile in, in the comments, and then use this group later in, in the categories, in the categories limiting who can see what posts. 
Um, so for example, if I go to my profile, let's see the public version, you will see the Peerboard team badge right in the profile. Uh, this email is shown only to me as for the admin. By the way, speaking of the user profile, since I'm here, check it out. So uh, this is how the user profiles look when when uh, used from Peerboard. You can actually use your own user profiles from WordPress and custom setups, uh, but we, we provide you with this default user profile, which shows you the history of all the posts, the comments, the replies I, I, I did uh, to some other comments, and also the buy and the tagline that I have. Um, yeah, and actually people can open uh, like other people profiles from, from comments and from posts. Um, so back to this to this to the admin panel, we have the membership uh, section as well. Um, this is where you can see who is already registered in your community and add them to user groups and change their roles to admins. So you can definitely have multi-admin setup again, it's all bundled in, in, in the deal. Um, it's free of charge. Uh, and you can have multiple admins and you can add people to different groups um in the same community to later limit their access to the to the posts or to just add the nice badges if, if you would like to and yeah customize them um so uh this is this is i actually shouldn't be showing that <laughs> uh because there are some emails please don't use them but basically yeah this is uh, the admin panel we have um uh and then uh, back to the to the things that we do provide, I think I mentioned the yeah, feed categories, groups, CRM that we have, um, layout. I mentioned that we have the dynamic feed. It will actually be evolving. It will be definitely added more features to the feed. This is a very big feature for us. One other thing I wanted to mention is the emails uh, that um, we send to our users. So number one thing that we do is we send a daily digest of all the posts in the community at 7 p.m. that will be customizable later. Uh, with the idea of bundling all the posts so it's not very noisy to the members. We don't send real-time posts. We're actually adding a switch to allow that too, but we're not sending that by default. Uh, so the, the main way for your members to get updated is through the daily digest we send, which is a collection of posts sent this day. And again, this digest will keep evolving. Um, then if somebody likes, replies, or subscribes to a post, say, um, for example, if I click... Uh, that's my long roadmap post. No, if, if I click the like here, or I click subscribe to, to the comments, uh, then uh, um, that will make you you get the replies to, to the post in real time to your email. And same for the comments. So um, that's that's how you stay up to date with all the, the granular changes uh, in the community uh, as, as the user as, and as the admin. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I wanted to uh, talk a bit more about the editor that we have. Um, because it's actually very rich and we spend so much time building the new editor for the posts because we do know and we do realize that the content is the key and you want your members to be able to write very high quality content as well as be writing it yourself. So I'll jump right into the post editor from editing one of my posts uh, in the community. And so what you see here is our uh, uh, essentials post. As you already can see, it supports titles, um, lists, uh, images built in, markdown snippets. By the way, this is very big. You can actually put pure markdown in, in here for more complex layouts if you want to for some reason. And then uh, some of the uh, code snippets and all of that. So very rich. Um, and then... Um, if you add, like when you want to add a new paragraph, you just click uh, on one of the options in this menu and convert either you convert the text or you add the photos, video previews, lists, quotes, uh, quote snippets, yeah, the quotes and markdown blocks here. So you can all of like, you can add all of that already. We're adding more ways to integrate videos. I heard this feedback a lot from from the members of from up some members. Um, so we'll be adding more more, more integrations. Now just YouTube and Vimeo, but we definitely plan to keep expanding on that. And then, uh, well, yeah, if you, you you select text, you can obviously make it a link, uh, strike through, all of that. So um, it does support. As, like as I mentioned, it does support Markdown. So if you would want for some reason to write everything in Markdown, you can just create a Markdown block 
and just just keep writing and this this will make the post look like uh like like the normal post but the the underlying data structure is marked down um uh, so that's more or less it about the editor as as you see it's already very rich and definitely spend a lot of time working on it i will keep evolving it um so now what i would like to do i would like to quickly walk you through creating a new community and just show you how you set it all up from the beginning. Um, for that, we will go to pureboard.com and uh, I will register a new community from here. You don't need to do that if you, if you bought the coupon on AppSumo. You can just redeem the coupon through their UI. Uh, but uh, I will start it from here. I will start a 30-day trial for our main professional plan. Um, and create a new community from here. So when you create a community, and you will see the same UI on Upstomo when, when redeeming the coupon, you start with the, with the name, uh, my email, and I'll get up. So, all right, so now when you create the community, you get a magic link sent to your email. I'm, I, I heard this question so many times these this days. Uh, we don't use passwords. We actually think magic links are safer because then you don't have to remember your password. Nobody can steal your password and you can still recover your password through email anyway. So what's the difference? So we use magic links for safety. We also have social login, so it's not necessary to use a magic link, but we do prefer this, this option. Um, now I'm opening my uh, email client. You may not see that. To click on the on the continue link, uh, which opens the freshly created community uh, that we just registered. It's, it's that easy. Um, what you see here, yeah, you see the default uh, structure for the categories. It's just one now. You see the welcome post. You can edit, and everything else is pretty much empty. So, what I would like to do. Uh, first of all, uh, what you should usually do after the registration, you should go ahead and change the, the welcome post because we do leave some placeholders here for you to feel like what is this community uh, about, uh, who are the members, uh, just tell a bit more about that, the guidelines, uh, like what you allow, what, what you don't, and some of the things you like to, to see in the community. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and change that in your freshly created community so to don't, do not leave the placeholders. Um, then, um, uh, what we can do here, we can actually now go ahead and create the new categories. And let's start with the, a few more introductions and deals. Um, actually, you know what, Let, let's change the name of this community to uh, LTD lifetime deals community because I'd like to set the structure for this for this use case. So let, let, let's imagine this community will be used for the lifetime deals. Um, and then uh, let me actually change going to hosting how 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 it, it, it works and what domain it uses. By default it sits on uh, uh, our pureboard.com domain. What you can do, you, you can change it to either custom domain and link your custom domain. You can change it to WordPress. For that, you will need to download the plugin from WordPress. I'll show it later. Uh, or you, you can use the SDK we have. But also, you can actually just use alias on, on pureboard. And that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, just pick an alias uh, community and save it. It says that all the links will be broken, which is fair enough. Uh, so we just changed that community uh, uh, URL to ltdcommunitypureboard.com. By the way, if you, the viewers, can go ahead and open this link, uh, ltdcommunitypureboard.com, let me actually send it to the chat, and join this community. That will help you see how, um, uh, how this works from the inside. Um, so, all right, so that's, that's a little bit about the hosting. I will review that in detail later. 
And so now going back to categories, um, I was talking about that. Uh, so we have now welcome category deals introductions. Let's add them some emojis, deals and introductions. Let's save that. Um, then what we can do, we can now actually go ahead and write a new post for the introductions category saying uh, new members say hi. Hello, can you please tell us more about yourself? Publish, and now this post is live. Uh, I actually don't have the avatar. You can always change it in your profile as the admin. Um, I won't do it now. And then, so this is the new members post. If you're already opening the, the community, you may be able to like this post, to comment. Um, now, let's see if we got any new members. Nice. Welcome people <laughs> to the freshly created community for lifetime deals. Um, so as you see, we don't have any groups yet and it would be nice to have one. So I can actually limit who can see the deals in the community. So I'm creating a new group called VIP members or just VIP for shortness. Um, and this is how this badge will look. I will make it violet because why not? Love it. Okay, so now I will have this VIP group. What we can do, we can go to members and just add some of the members or all of them. I will just go one by one to this VIP group. So, oh, that's a lot of you. Thanks for joining. So now everybody who, is, who joined, you're in VIP group. Um, and then what I can do, I can actually go ahead and write a new secret post for this group. Uh, let me refresh. I think our cache didn't get updated. Um, so, oh wait, I actually didn't connect the group to, to the category. Uh, still a bit sleepy. So going to deals, you see there is the VIP group here. I'm connecting the group to the deals uh, category, which makes it a secret category now visible only to the VIP members. Now um, I can write a new post. And as you see, it shows you that this, this post category will be visible only to the VIP members now. So I'm, I'm writing a new post, super awesome, hard deal. Board <laughs> with a link to uh, uh, actually I'll just do it this way. Uh, board. So and now this post should be visible only to the only to the people who are in uh, the VIP group. We should actually probably add uh, some extra page in here because it's not very obvious. Or like at least the lock icon. I will make sure to add that uh, to the scope. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that's essentially how you create different hidden segments of your community. Not hidden, but like not available to other members. And we'll add more customization around how we uh, show who, who can see what. Um, this allows you to essentially have sub forums built into pure board. So you have different spaces for different member groups who can um, access different parts of it. Uh, what's interesting is that you can also change user groups um, through APIs and Zapier. Um, that's a big deal because we actually wanted you to have an automated way to change who can access to what. And so with our Zapier now, you can actually uh, change the groups of the members who do something outside of pure board. For example, you have a payment system, like say you have Stripe, you can actually on every payment uh, call Zapier and pass that to pure board. So all the members who paid, they get added to a new group you created, uh, such as VIP or paid users or something. And th this actually can be a, a, a secret group because you can hide the badge and make it not visible for everybody. So this will be only for your management. Um, this is uh, it, I think, about the community structure. Let's see, oh, did I miss anything? Deals post. Yeah, I started talking about Zapier. I want to quickly show you how that works. Just show you quickly the, the setup steps. Um, so Zapier, in our case, lives in integrations. Uh, and you can activate it from here. 
uh, that would get you to Zapier. You can add, for example, uh, so there are two main use cases really. One is uh, something pu pushes data to Pureboard uh, or uh, you actually post data from Pureboard to something else. In this case, uh, let's do both. I will show you how to quickly set up both, both, both channels. Um, to post data from uh, Pureboard to something else, let's actually, for example, do it to Slack. Uh, let's connect Pureboard to Slack, so all of the new posts from Pureboard will drop into your uh, Slack channel. So we have a new post uh, yeah, trigger in uh, Pureboard, and then we can use send channel message uh, action in Slack and set up the, the trigger. It's, it's very easy. Um, when we will be adding more support for different uh, in, in integrators like Zapier, because I know that not all of you are happy with Zapier. So this is definitely on our list of priorities. So here you can connect a new account and that prompts, I'm not sure you see it, but basically that prompts to uh, me to enter the API token for the board. The API token can be found, I think I just closed it. Um, just let me open the picture again. Yeah, so the, um, the token can be found in hosting in at, on at like in in this field API or token. This token is used for everything from Zapier to APIs, SDKs. This is your community token. Uh, don't show it to anybody. This is the main way to access your community uh, programmatically. You don't want to uh, to 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 leak it in any way. Uh, so back to Zapier. Connect to another Pureboard account. I enter in the token and now what you see here is I just added the LTD community board to Zapier. So now we already have the trigger. You, you, you can filter the post by, by category. You can actually uh, decide what is sent uh, to Slack in this case. I will not do that. And then uh, pretty much that's it. Yeah. And then you set the, I will skip this part. Uh, you set uh, the channel that you uh, you want to send it to in Slack. Send channel message and then just some customization what, what account and what will be the message. But that's those are the basic. We actually get all the messages from the community in real time this way so we can react on them immediately and not wait for the daily, daily digest. You can do the same for email just by using Gmail instead of Slack. You can even use Telegram to send messages from Pureboard to your Telegram chats, uh, channels, and groups. We have a snippet for that. It, it's a bit more complex because they don't support Zapier, but you can do that too with the custom code uh, that you, you can plug into Zapier. So that's one main use case. How do you post stuff from Pureboard to somewhere else? Then the other use case is how do you get stuff into Pureboard? One good use case is yeah, you have an external me membership system or an external mailing list, and you want to add people to Pureboard when they are registered in the mailing list or when they pay in the membership system. For that, you can also create a Zap. Um, instead of uh, starting with Pureboard, in this case, I'll start, for example, with Mailer, MailerLite, which I use for the emails. Um, and see here we have new su subscriber. That's when somebody subscribed to this new mailing list. I uh, will use my account and continue. Then, um, perfect. Then uh, on action side, this is where we pick Pureboard. Uh, and uh, we can actually use activate member here. The, this is the, the main event you may be using. With activate member, you can uh, choose the board that we activate the member in and then pass some additional parameters unblock if user was already blocked let's not do that email and here we get the email from uh the uh from the mailer light then add to groups what groups do we want to add this member to say we want to add to the new create vip group and some of the extra data like name last name all of that so this is it and then you hit save and th this actually starts to migrate in real time all the members that register somewhere else to uh, your system in Pureboard. Um, that's the main way uh, if you don't really code and if you don't want to use the APIs we have, this is the main way to move the data around between services. 
Speaking of the API, we have an API to do the, the, the same. I'll quickly show you the docs that we have. This is a more advanced version. If you do want to write some code or you have somebody to write the code for you, you can actually do much more and you can actually use our API to change the community settings, to post and update the users, and soon to change the groups. We don't have an API for that life yet, but it's coming this week. Um, so let's see. So I touched on Zapier now. I, last, last thing I wanted to, to do, I wanted to show you and walk you through the settings we have because I think that that's useful. And I'll start with the general settings uh, just to, sh to quickly uh, show you what we already allowed to do. So in general settings, you can change the community name. You can change access rights for the community. Uh, and what's nice is that you can actually keep the content public, but the community closed for registration, uh, like invite only, uh, which would only allow the users who were invited by the admins through this, this UI we have here to get into the space. Um, you can show a, a small re re registration wall for long pause, by the way, for the public content that prompt users to log in. So there are multiple ways to get them in. Then uh, there are some small things. Uh, external login URL is actually very critical if you use WordPress. You can connect your own login page to Pureboard. So when users are trying to log in the Pureboard from your custom setup or like from WordPress, they actually are driven to your WordPress. What's cool is that when they register in, in WordPress, we, uh, we pick their session from WordPress automatically so, so they don't have to log in again. And that's why it's nice to have a single login and for us to pick up the session they create on, on, on your end. Um, and then if you don't use this login, we have social logins for Google, Facebook, and, 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 and LinkedIn. And we have post sharing to different social networks. You may have seen that from the post page. Then we have some SEO uh, optimizations. We do provide the sitemap and we do allow you to verify uh, the domain in Google Search Console if you use custom domains. You don't need that if you use WordPress. So those are the basics. Then the big, the big part of the product is the hosting settings. I already touched on that. Um, uh, you can play with it later. Let me know if you have any questions. This is the complex piece of the product and it may not be very, very simple uh, from the first glance, but it actually is streamlined for all different use cases. Uh, I mentioned Zapier we have in integrations. We have a way to customize some of the copy for the community, the description, posting guidelines, invite email, title and content, and there will be more to come. And then the, the big nice area for us is the customization. So we allow you to put the logo. If you have the logo, you can still have the title, uh, theme color, background color, text color, font families, and we'll be adding more soon. Uh, additional links in, 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 in the header. This is actually what you see uh, in my community, uh, in our community on Pureboard. This link here is the custom link you can add. You can have multiple. For example, if you want people to get back to your website, this is very nice to, to do and to, to use. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, using this feature. Um, and then if you need more, yeah, just let us know and make a pause in our community. And we are adding more customization features as we go, uh, but I think we're already in, in a good place. Lastly, we have an email feature that allows you to connect a custom email to all your digests. So if you don't want those emails to be sent from Peerboard and you want a fully white label solution, you can use that. Uh, the only thing that is uh, left uh, from attribution then after all of it is Peerboard in, in the footer, but you can actually change that too if you buy the second code on AppSumo that unlocks both the unlimited mem mem membership amounts. Uh, on one code, it's 1,000 active active monthly members, and that allows you to hide the footer in your peer board instance. Very nice. Um, I think that's about it. Let me see if I missed anything. Oh yeah, a quick note on WordPress plugin. Again, a quick summary of what we have. So this is the the WordPress plugin for peer board in WordPress. This is my uh, blog. Um, actually, I should probably change the token after that <laughs> because I just leaked it. So <clears throat> what you see here is the uh, the token uh, that you, you need to get from the hosting settings of your board to connect the board to the WordPress. This is the board path. That's where the community will live in your WordPress. This is a switch to automatically import first and last names. And this is a switch to not show the, the header, this header we have here in your WordPress setup. For example, if you look at my blog, you don't see the header here because I disabled it. I don't need it, I already have my own. Actually, I don't have, but uh, 
in case you, you would have your own login and you, 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 user profile, you definitely don't need our header. So go ahead and disable it. Um, I think this is it. And now we can get to the questions. Thank you so much for your patience. I know that was a lot. Lindsay, pass back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, you know, it was the right amount. It wasn't that much. I think you did great. You covered everything. Um, so Sumo Lings, if you would like to leave any more questions, we do have a bunch in here. Yeah, we've gotten some people are saying you were brilliant. I know we got a lot of chat messages just uh, as you were going through it, just saying, oh, this is very nice. This is cool. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. That's amazing. Um, I could not tell you what they're talking about now, but um, that sounds like they loved it. Yeah, they're all sharing links in here. Yeah, this is great. Thank you. So Sumo Links, if you want to leave any more questions in the Q&A box, go for it. Uh, we have a bunch in here to get through. Um, so let's get into it. Is there some kind of editable header or footer master page, which will be on all pages of my community? Not yet. That's a good idea. For now, we only allow the links I mentioned here. Those. If you want the custom footer and, and header, I actually do recommend you, you using WordPress. We don't want to put much of this meta stuff in 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 Pureboard itself because we want to focus a lot more on the core product. There's still so much to do. So if you want to use some extra features on top, I we, we recommend to use WordPress. Awesome. So we do have um, a few people that are asking how y'all stack up to other you know, community boards. Um, I, we've had mm. one, I think only just one product like this that in recent memory in AppSumo um, named mm. Tribe. I don't know how familiar you are with them, um, but they're also mm. wanting, wondering against like Facebook groups. I know a lot of people um, are trying to transition over from Facebook groups and you touched on that. Mm. Can you talk to them a little bit about the comparisons? That's a great question. So um, for Facebook groups, uh, I spent so many years using Facebook both for Facebook and actually Facebook for work, the workspace or the workplace from Facebook. Uh, so we, um, we definitely in inherited a lot of this thinking from them. Uh, that said, I think the better example for us was actually Reddit. So we were trying to replicate more of the Reddit model here because it's, it's, it's better de designed for bigger groups. And that's what we intend to support. Facebook is meant for the smaller communities, your friends like those, like 200 people max that you see in your feed. And groups are a, a byproduct of that thinking. With us, we were really trying to focus more on, on the big groups, like thousands of people, and like making sure you can grow that to, to those big groups. That's why actually the, we have this laconic design on, on, on the main page. That will, will change soon. We will add more images and stuff, but still we wanted to make sure it's scalable to a lot of content that you, you can write or your members can write. Um, as for the other features, I think we already passed uh, Reddit and Facebook uh, by far. Uh, and we added so much more than they have. With the Facebook group, you have a single space, no categorization, no private sections. We have all of them by, like, by now, same for Reddit. So it's already a much richer space. One thing to, to, to highlight is if you already have a, a, a Facebook group or a subreddit and you don't have a website that enjoys a lot of traction, I would actually recommend to stay with Facebook because the entry barrier is so low and it's just easier for your members to use Facebook and Reddit. But if you have the website with some traffic and you want to convert that traffic into the community, then I would recommend having the community on your website. And that's much that's a much lower entry barrier than getting your people to Facebook and then just lose track of them. Um, as for Tribe, I think they, they built a great product actually. I think we are a young product and the the main differentiation is that we focus much more on 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 plug and play aspect of it uh, from what i know tribe doesn't have the wordpress plugin they don't have any other plugins for different cmss we do plan to build many of, of those and we focus from the beginning on enabling you to plug us into anywhere and white label us which is not possible with tribe from what i know um, same with other tools i think that, like there's a big wave of tools like like like, like tribe uh, but none of them focus so much on, on being plug and play, on being natively embeddable. Uh, thank you. Um, all right, so we've got some questions. Uh, as you know, sumo -lings live everywhere in this world. So we have some questions about languages. Um, a variety. There is a, a, a lot of questions about this on the subject. So I'm going to ask you to talk mm -hmm. generally, but I'm also going to tell you what some of the questions are. Is this platform fully translatable? Um, mm -hmm. so one person asks, is there forum support in other languages? Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What can you speak on about languages? Good question. A really a, a good one. So there are really 
two parts of it. One is how do you run multi-language a community? And I think this is a very hard question by itself. I don't think it's easy to do it. And I don't think there are good ways because how do you make sure people with two different languages talk to each other? We suggest to use uh, the categories for different languages and to uh, allow people to pick what 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 language they they talk by segmenting the community and then for the product I- itself we already support i think simplify chinese russian uh, there was a third one i forgot and uh, we actually got a lot of requests for translation if you go to the community we have german spanish in, like indonesia some people reached out to me and, and offered to do the, the Portuguese uh, translation. So we are doing all of those now with you guys. If you need a language that's not here, can you please email me to, to translations at peerboard.com or just uh, write a post here and I will reach out. Because the way we do translations now, we basically wait for what you ask for and then work with you to do the, the translation the best way possible. Uh, the product Wonderful. is ready for that. So it's really up to you to reach out. Yeah. We did get a request just now in the chat for German, so I'm glad to see that one. Perfect, is yeah, it's right on, on the list. <laughs> right at top. Um, all right, so we, I've seen this question come up a few times. People are wanting to know if you can only use this with WordPress. Um, could you use this with a different kind of web builder, um, or could you use this without a website at all? Yeah, so you can definitely use it without the website. You don't even need the domain, as you've seen some of the, the these case I've shown. Um, you can just host it on uh, on us or on your custom domain if you have any. Um, you don't need WordPress. WordPress is, is a nice CMS in that it allows you to connect so many different plugins and build your own custom setup. But again, you don't need WordPress for that. We are building plugins for other CMS. Like for example, I am a big fan of Ghost. I actually baked it on Kickstarter 10 years ago and I'm still a huge fan. And I think this is the future of the CMSs. So we plan to build the plugin for Ghost early next year. We do plan to build a plugin for, for Shopify and that's a big deal for us, but we wanted to spend some time to make it right. And, uh, and then for the simplified side builders like Squarespace, Wix and others, it's technically not possible to plug in such a complex product in them, but what's possible is to show the uh, the preview of, of the post like in a widget on, on, on their pages. So we're building this widget now and you all will get it by default. It will live in settings uh, widgets uh, by the end of this week, actually. So you can uh, put the list of posts uh, from the community to this site builder. And by the way, this was the feedback we got from AppSumo launch. So thanks for sharing. We took a week to build that last week and that's going live this week. Wonderful, I love that. All right. Um, question here about roadmap things. Do you plan to add gamif- gamification features like badges, statuses, leaderboards, etc.? We do. I actually spent 10 years building games, so I'm a big fan of gamification. One thing, though, is I think it's easy to get sucked into this space and spend so much time building those things. Uh, I'd rather do it later than early because I think there's still so much more to do on the core product, which is missing out. For example, the mentions, right? No, notifications, like built in the product. This is so key to, to making sure it's, it's engaging and it, it's fun to use. So we will first do that. And I think after that, we'll get to uh, nicer, like more playful things like gamification. If, if you open the roadmap we have on, on the website in, in the community, you will see that. Those are all the things we plan to, to build in, in the next three to four months. And there's still, still a lot. More roles, one-to-one chats, coming later there's just so much stuff we want to build first so yeah we definitely plan to get to gamification but probably late next year i'd say wonderful thank you i want to give a shout out to cat who's like taking questions from the chat and putting them in the q a box for other people that's thank you. very kind and very helpful for me um all right is it possible to disable posting but allow commenting for certain user roles there are a few questions regarding you know what can you what allows what can you allow what permissions can you give people yeah we actually wrote a guide about that it lives now in 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 in, in the community's essential guide section it's called access settings and user groups and it showcases you th- th- three different types of settings we will have the, the global settings for, for, for the community i mentioned those the category level settings and the user groups so you can there are two, two main things here. One is you can define who can see what with the user groups attached to, to, to the categories. Uh, and then you can actually uh, make some of the categories admin only for posting, even if they are limited for, uh, to some of the groups. 
uh, and by that basically make people not able to post in those groups but only comment and that's what actually we do in our community so a lot of the groups we have uh for us only for example the releases people don't uh, people cannot post in this group just the team um but they can comment and that's nice and then for some of the the the, the categories we actually allow people to post uh for questions for for example and then there are some of the, the secret groups uh, that you've seen that that a normal uh, member would not see so yeah there's a lot of flexibility already if you miss something let us know but i think with this setup we we, 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 we got you covered 99 percent. wonderful um is it possible to open a community for a given time then archive it and download the posts to be given as a value add-on after closing the group um the use case for this would be for student cohorts so at the end of the semester I guess why would you want to close them? It's that such a nice place. I remember being a part of this student group myself, and I, I actually still am a part of my student group ten years after. So why would you close I don't, such a nice group? I don't dislike so. the idea. Yeah, if I can go back to like my grad school right. groups, that would have been fun. <laughs> so far, so far, nobody asked us to close a, a space. Actually, I don't remember any of such requests. Like <laughs> somebody just said, never close a peer board. Never. <laughs> Sorry, Rosario, you're stuck with these forever. Um. So is that is it is that a no for now? Yeah, I don't think you can. I mean, you you can delete the whole space. Uh, we are yeah. building a feature to to do that, and now you can manually reach out to us, and we can send you the download of all the data. But yeah, you'll basically kill the space for all the members. If you want okay. to do that, you can do that. Not nobody did that yet. <laughs> Don't let it go. Let them stay. Um, all right. Can members create groups? <laughs> uh, great question. Not, not yet. Time. Not yet. But that's a good question. Yeah, I do think in the long run, we want to allow that. I still think those groups will need to go through moderation so people can create like random groups. But yeah, I do want to decentralize more of the, the, the management uh, features and roles and allow people to do some, some things too. But not now yet. Uh, what about SEO and Peerboard? Yeah, as I mentioned, we already support the custom sitemaps. We uh, we do provide the robots.txt. We do allow the validation for the for the Google Search Console, and we'll keep adding more. It's like now we we, we cover the basics. I do realize there's so much more we, we we can do with the reach uh, search with AMP and all of that. This 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 is not supported now, but the basic search is. So stay tuned for more features. Uh, we have them on the list. We'll get to that too. Uh, do hidden groups show up on a Google search? No, they sh 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 should not. If they show now, let me know, but they sh should not be shown, yeah. <laughs> Get rid of them. Um, does this replace our current blog page on our website if we integrate it with our web with our WP site, with our WordPress site? You can, you don't have to. Uh, for Peerboard, for example, our blog is on Webflow now and we still keep the community. We plan to move the blog to Peerboard eventually, but it just yeah historically it happened that we have web webflow for for the blog uh and so we will keep it this way um but you can yeah and actually i would recommend doing that and letting us know how it goes if you're just starting to play with your blog definitely use it do it in in the community too because that actually merges the audiences now you have the blog audience and the community audience in one place they get the updates and all of that if you miss any features for this use case let, let us know and we'd like to better support it but yeah that's a good idea all right in order to be in legal compliance do you need to ask permission before adding subscribers to your opt-in offers to peer board and is it easy for them to opt out of peer board if they prefer not to be a member so i'm not sure i fully understand the question but if we're talking about the invites uh, you cannot actually easily add members to Pureboard. You can only invite them and they get an invite email and they don't have to, uh, to accept it. If they do, they join Pureboard and then they can delete their profile or unsubscribe from the digest. So yeah, we respected the, those preferences from the, the beginning. We don't want to, to, spend, to spam the people. Awesome. Um, are posts indexable on search engines? Uh, posts, of course, yeah. And how can we add Google Analytics? Work in progress. We do plan to have the custom code um, section in settings. Uh, so you can add your own uh, GS code snippets, or I, th I think yeah, that will be the best way probably to connect those things to your, uh, to your board. 
Cool. By the Apologies. way, same for chat. So uh, you can actually add the chat button to the to pure board. Same way, we will edit. We'll be meeting that next week. Fun. Um, apologies if you've already covered this, but I know that this is important to Sumo Links. Can you remove the branding? Yeah, you can remove all of the branding. Uh, if you buy to code, you can remove the, the footer completely, this, this piece. Cool. Um, all right. So can you start at like xyz.peerboard and later switch to WordPress without losing the existing threads? Yeah, one thing to note is that the links will change and they will get broken. I think if you start at something that peerboard and then switch to WordPress, we actually do support the link. Uh, what's the word for it? The, the, for, the, the forwarding. But if you start at WordPress, for example, and then switch to custom domain, the links will get broken once. The data will be preserved. You can definitely do that just to be aware that those changes are not free, meaning like you break some stuff. All right. Um, we've answered that. Cool. Um, somebody asked, what is ghost? You mentioned it earlier, but you might've check it out. Been... Ghost is the next gen WordPress. Basically it's still, I think it's still very early, but like, I think like eight years old now, <laughs> there was like 30 years for WordPress or whatever they have, uh, under their belt. Uh, but it's basically a cleaner, better version of uh, WordPress. They have their own membership plugins. And I generally recommend supporting Ghost because you don't want to be stuck with WordPress forever, right? You want the next gen thing like that. And this is Ghost. Um, big fan of awesome. it. Awesome. Um, cool, fun. We do have a lot of questions in this Q&A box. So Sumo Lings, I'm going to let you know that we probably won't be able to get through all of them. Thank you, Colleen, for sharing Ghost. People are sharing it in the chat if that's something you're looking for. Somebody did ask how long PeerBoard is on AppSumo. I genuinely never know how long these offers are going to be available. We, I think, say a few months maybe, but I don't know that that's actually true. I, uh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I feel like I, I am supposed to know that, but I think there like is some mystery around it. I think that's part of it. <laughs> I think it's more than for one month. And I think we started on December on November 13th. So definitely the full of the December and maybe a, a bit more after that. I do believe it's like on average three months. I think it's, I've it's never, like, definitely looked at y'all's less contracts. than three. I think it's, Either one or two. I don't remember which exactly we picked, okay. but not three. Yeah. Get get it quick because it won't be three months. I'm lying to y'all. Um, and and uh, consider it a Christmas present. All right. Um, stuck forever. Okay. So, um, I'm scrolling back up. Apologies. Um, people are asking about future integrations. Um, one person asked about an integration called Groove Funnels. Um for member area or email list. And so this has come up a couple of times with different products. What are, you, what are you looking at in terms of integrating with products that would allow people to have access to the member area like because they have access to that? Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, it okay. does. And I think this is very key for us. I do think that what we have now uh, through Zapier is uh, in a way li li limited and not, not native and plus you need to pay for Zapier from what I know. So we do plan to add more native integrations. The best way for us to add something, and that's that's for you people to help us out with, uh, is to, to reach out to those platforms and talk, like tell them to talk to us. Because we need their support for the native ones. And sometimes it's, it's hard to get them to, to talk to us just because they're swamped with other things as well. Uh, so if you can mail them, each of you, and tell them to work with us, that's helpful. Please do that. And whenever they come to us and talk to us, or like if we have the channel for communication with them, that helps a lot. And that makes it very easy for us to, to, to do that. Yeah, it takes one or two days for us to plug in something. We just need more support from their ends. Awesome. So for the person asking about member press, that's for you. Um, somebody asked yeah. if you'll integrate with Integrately, which is like Zapier. Um, yep. Yeah, we definitely have, we would love to go do all, like, all of that. Go bother them. Please let them know that we are here and waiting for them <laughs> to talk to us. Wonderful. Um, all right. We're going to go through just a few more questions here, Sumo Lings, uh, and then we'll wrap this up. We have a question. Where did it go? <laughs> um, if I have two codes, do I have the ability to have two different boards on two different websites with unlimited members? No, one code give you limited members, two code give you unlimited members for one board. If you want two with unlimited, you need four codes. 
Four coats. Four coats is your answer to that. You will need four. Okay, can I attach a PDF to an article? And if yes, is the content of the PDF searchable from the main forum search bar? Not yet. We plan to add attachments. The content likely won't be searchable though, because I think it's just very hard to search in PDFs. It's just not, yeah. not something we want to do. Um, there, I can't find it right now, but there was a question. Hang on. I really want to like just read the question to you and I'm so sorry that I keep losing them, but y'all are sending in so many. Um, <laughs> I'm trying here. Um, somebody asked about like getting more storage space. Maybe it came in on the chat. Um, if somebody needs more storage, how can they go about getting that? I really wonder what people plan to do with 200 gigs of storage, honestly, because I they think always so ask much. about storage, which is why I'm <laughs> asking. I don't know what they're storing, but they want storage <laughs> like my life my life of photos in, in 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 the dropbox is less than than that so i don't think you'll ever reach that point if you'll ever reach that point uh we have the price that is very close to what aws charges for, for storage it's like i think five bucks for 100 gigs a month so that's pretty much what we'll charge if we'll cool. get to 200 on two codes if you if you can store that much stuff, good for you. Um, yeah, two hundred gigabytes seems way more than most plugins give. Um, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Good luck, guys. I challenge you to reach it. Um, why not? Right? It shows they're using it. Um, is there any app for this community, or is there an app coming? The mobile app. Um, so not yet. We do plan to build it. Actually, if you look at our roadmap, it's in the no ETA, but on our radar. We do think we need a mobile app. We do think we need a mobile SDK so you can plug it into your app, similar to how we do it for the websites. It just, we do want to do it well. And I think uh, likely it will go live next year, but I wouldn't even give that promise just in case. Definitely. Wonderful. All right, Sumalings, I'm going to take the next two questions that come in on the Q&A box. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. Somebody just asked if Peerboard is GDPR ready, um, which is a common question. I think so. Yeah, uh, we haven't looked very deep into that, but we covered the basics. So if you see something is missing or there are some questions, please let, let me know. We double check that. But yeah, we should be GDPR ready. Great. Um, all right. Do, 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 do. Waiting to see if any more questions come in. Um, if I embed a peer board behind a paywall that my members are already logged into. Do they still need to sign into peer board as another step? Nope. So as like, if you use WordPress, we pick up the WordPress session or well, like automatically. We actually, this is in the works right now, again, based on your feedback, we do, we started to import the users and the roles from WordPress. So you have it all set up on, on peer board side and you can actually mark the groups from WordPress uh to see different post uh, categories so that's uh, in works now we'll go live next week or like at the end of this week so it's it's all it's being picked from wordpress basically and that's the plan cool um all right this is our last question if someone drops their membership can they be kicked out of the peer board group oh yeah yeah with zapier with, with apis you have full control and you can automatically do that yeah and this last question that I'm going to take because it came in at the same time: Can non-members see any posts? Uh, you have the the flip for, for that uh, the switch uh, on the in 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 the global settings. So you can actually make the content public, but you don't have to. You can make it private too. Amazing! All right, we've been here for an hour, Sumo Lings. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But I always appreciate. Um, thanks. It looks great. Yeah. Um, I always appreciate all of the questions that y'all send in and I'm so sorry that we, uh, couldn't get to all of them. We, we kind of, I think we had like 40 something RSVPs last night. And when I saw that there was more than that many people here today, I double checked and it went well into the two hundreds, um, of RSVPs. Wow. So wow. yeah, <laughs> something nice. happened. I'm going to guess an email went out. Um, and it, it brought a lot of y'all here. So I'm so sorry that we probably were not able and email went out. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Kat. <laughs> um, um, thank you. I wanted to add, uh, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate your questions, your feedback. We are here to listen to you. This was a very big part for us and why we launched on AppSumo. We want your feedback. So please go ahead and post in our community, uh, reach out through email, reach out on intercom. 
Uh, I'm a little bit swamped because there's so many questions these days. I'm really dying. <laughs> I need some sleep, but <laughs> I, I, it, it, it's me doing that because I do think it needs to be me to reply to all of you. So please, uh, yeah, send your feedback. The, the team sees all of that, and we definitely hear you. Um, stay tuned for more, more updates, and thanks for, for the for the warm uh, welcome. Yeah, absolutely. So Sumo Lings seem to be loving you in the chat um, and are very grateful for taking the time. And I appreciate you guys being here with us. Somebody complimented my Christmas in my Christmas decorations. I feel like if I'm trapped in here, it's going to be festive. Um, all right. So Sumo Lings, uh, sleepless forever with Sumo Lings. That is true. Y'all don't let us sleep. Um, <laughs> it's fine. We do it for you. Sumo links. If you have not already, you can go to appsumo.com slash pureboard right now to redeem your codes. It's starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. And of course, this is backed by AppSumo 60 day guarantee. So you can go ahead, get set up, play around with it, see how it works for you. Um, I appreciate again, all of y'all being here today. And I apologize if we did not get to your questions, you can always leave your questions on the deal page. And of course, once you've been playing around with pureboard for a while, we do love to read your reviews so far seven reviews have come in and we're looking at a five five taco rating which is always so funny to say um and uh so yeah we love to hear from you please send in your feedback um and of course you know all of your great ideas and recommendations for how to take this tool to the next level because that's what y'all are so good at thank you so much Mikhail, for hanging out with us and walking us through everything thank you so much thank you for your support too thanks all have a good one bye y'all